Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to easily export any selected text layers from Figma uh, out to a spreadsheet file which we can then edit and re-import back into Figma to make a whole bunch of text changes really easily and automatically. Um, so to get started we're just going to jump into the Figma community and search for the word CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C -O and under the plugins tab you'll see CopyDoc come up and all you need to do is click on the install button on the right hand side and we'll be ready to go. So you can swap back into your Figma file at this point and it can be any Figma file uh, with any content in it. I'm just going to go ahead and run the plugin that we just installed by right clicking anywhere, going down to plugins and clicking on copy doc and that's just going to fire up the plugin we just installed a moment ago. So for today's tutorial I'm only going to be focusing on this bottom feature called quick export selected text layers. And this feature differs from another feature that I've covered in other tutorials, um, which is this feature up here called Export Figma Text Layers. And this feature is different because it centers around entire Figma frames. So if you know you want to export a whole bunch of Figma frames out to a file and make changes to them and re-import them in bulk, uh, that's a really good option. But if you only need to export certain parts of a design or certain parts of a single frame, uh, this option that we're covering today is going to be an option that's much more suited to what you're after. So to get started, all we need to do is find the part of the design that we want to export. So in this case, I'm going to export this cast frame. So this frame contains, as we can see on the left here, um, a bunch of uh, text layers. So we've got a heading layer, this other layer here, and then a bunch of nested text layers too. So by clicking on the frame that contains, uh, wraps around all those layers, what the plugin is doing is it's showing us that we've got six text layers uh, found. So we can see one, two, three, four, five, six. And what we can do is export those specific text layers quite easily just by clicking on this quick export button. So I'm going to do that now. And you can see here it's given us a list of the text, phrase, uh, text layers that have been selected. And the only thing you need to do is select what format you want to export it to. So we've got CSV, JSON, uh, XLIF, and you can go into some more advanced options here too. I'm just going to keep it simple with CSV today and then I'm just going to select the ordering option. So this is the order of the text that gets exported to the CSV. Um, at the moment I'm just keeping it as sorting the text visually based on where it is in the design. So for example it'll sort it from top left to bottom right. So we should see uh, cast, see all, uh, Robert Downey Jr and so on. So I'm just going to leave it as that and then I'm going to click on the quick export CSV button. Okay, so it's generated the CSV. I'm just going to click on download CSV export. It's very quick. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going to save it to my desktop and then I'm going to jump into my desktop and open up this file. So I'm just going to use the default numbers app that comes with um, Mac. You can use Excel, you can use Google Sheets, anything that you like you can, you can use. Uh, I'm just going to keep it really simple today just so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so as we saw um, in the design, it's exported it in the order that we expected. So that's, that's kind of exactly how we expected the order to come out. And you can see we've got a few different columns here. So the ID column, uh, you don't want to touch. That's, that's what's going to map these layers back into Figma in a moment when we re-import it. Uh, the frame is just telling us which frame that it's been uh, exported from. So in this case, it's the movie details frame. Uh, the layer name is the layer name of the text layer. You can change that layer name if you like and that will get updated also uh, in the Figma text layers or Figma layers panel. And finally we have the Figma text column. So this is the actual text content uh, in each of these layers. So that's the one we're going to be focusing on today. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to update this. So I'm going to say uh, actors featured so I'm going to change that cast one to access featured. Uh, I can change see all to see more. And I think all of these names are correct. So I'm going to leave those as is. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, file, export to CSV. I'm going to select CSV, select Unicode UTF-8 and go next. And then I'm just going to save it as updated on my desktop. So I'm going to close that numbers app off now. I'm going to jump back into my copy doc plugin. I'm going to close off that download panel 
And this time I'm gonna click on the export text layers option. So I'm gonna click on that little button here. And this is giving us the chance to drag in uh, a file that we've updated that was originally exported from the copy.doc plugin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that updated CSV that we just changed. I'm gonna drag that in to the plugin into this little drag and drop window. And you can see here that it's loaded up the CSV file and it's telling us that it's detected two text changes um, since we exported the file. So you can see that it's detected we've changed cast to act as featured and see all to see more. So I'm happy with both of those. If you only wanna import certain ones, you just uncheck any of the ones you don't wanna update. Um, if you're unsure of where the text is being changed, all you need to do is click on this little text icon and that will immediately select it and zoom into it on the Figma canvas. So if you're a bit unsure, that's just a really good way to double check. Uh, in my case, I'm happy with these changes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on update Figma text layers, this button here. So I'm gonna click that now. And you can see here that it says it's updated two Figma text layers. And as we'd expect, it's made those two changes uh, that we made in our spreadsheet just a minute ago. Um, and as you can see, none of the other text has been updated. That's all been left alone. Just these two changes have been made. Um, so that's a really nice way of updating certain components or certain layers within a larger frame or within a larger context. And this can be really useful for things like microcopy or for example, these buttons, you could export those. Or if there's just a, you know, a list within a frame, like these uh, cinemas, for example, uh, exporting that selection is a really quick way to send that to your copywriter or you know, update it yourself uh, or update or send it to someone who doesn't have a Figma account and then they can basically send it back to you once they're happy with the text changes while you continue working on the design and then you can just re-import that spreadsheet file directly into Figma via the CopyDoc plugin. So um, that's basically it for today. You can, you can use this example in your own designs. Uh, you can select multiple layers. So if you wanted to select you know, both of these layers, we can, we can easily do that. So I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. So you can see here that we've got uh, both of these selected and now storyline is also showing up. Um, I forgot to mention that this preview here will also reflect your option. So if you change the ordering option of the text, for example, if we changed it to alphabetical, so we'll go from A to Z, and you can see here as a preview, it's showing you what that's gonna look like in the spreadsheet. So I forgot to mention that before, but that's a bit of a preview of how it's gonna look uh, when it actually gets exported. So if we quickly export that CSV again, download the export to our desktop, save that, and once again, open that with the numbers app or whatever spreadsheet software you wanna use. Uh, you can see here this time it's exported those two extra layers, the storyline layer and the description. And because we selected the alphabetical option, it's now sorting the Figma text content from uh, A to Z, so in alphabetical order. So that's just an example of how you can easily change that text order uh, when you do export the spreadsheet. All right, so I think we'll leave it there for today. Um, I just want to give you a really quick example of this new quick export option. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.